Hello, welcome back to the Drop the Ball podcast. This is the first one of these that we've done for how long? Um, how, how actually long? We like rebooted it. Yeah. And then we did we one. Yeah. We did a second two? one. We yeah. did two, but we never released it because yeah. audio messed up. Oh, it. were it? Was that that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got That's a little mic. Oh, yeah, we've got this thing today, so hopefully it works. Um, so, this is the first time that we've, we've like spent time with each other since leaving Ickleton, which has been cool, hasn't it? Like, yeah. outside at work environment. But first time on camera since we've both left, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's been so, nearly two months since we left. Oh, my God, it actually has, hasn't it? Yeah. Got my first pay packet coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it's ready for that. Yeah. We've got bones in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you been on with? What have you been doing? Yeah, a bit of a new venture, really, mm. for me. So I think a lot of your audience would know. Oh, would they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they would love that. Yeah. Majority of American majority viewers might not know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've gone self-employed. Yeah. So, yeah, so not completely different. What, what were you thinking behind that? I just wanted to do something different to get out of it, mm. to get out of golf, really. Yeah, so, yeah. I read some. I read some on Twitter this morning that one golf pro leaves the golf industry every day. Every day. Every day. So, a bit I crazy, like isn't it? it. Yeah. How many PGA members is there? I think it's like twenty-two thousand worldwide. Worldwide. I think yeah. I read that. I could be talking absolute shit there, but I think it's twenty-two thousand okay. worldwide. That would make sense. Yeah. But how many do you think like? Of Europe. I think there's four and a half thousand in the UK. I don't know where that just kept from. Right? That might have been that. <laughs> no, I swear I've seen that on like Wikipedia, that real good trusted news site. Right. Crikey. So one a day almost. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 300 and odd a year. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Mad that. Quickly did well, retire, obviously. Yeah. Which is like a mm-hmm. natural thing, but. Mm. Yeah, relatively young, really, to get out of it, I suppose, aren't I? Mm. Well, yeah, 47's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's no age. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Obviously, I know what you've gone into doing and yeah. the audience will look at you. They've known, yeah. 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 yeah, it has been a bit like crazy up to now, though. Just yeah, the, a little bit, the change yeah. of it all. Yeah. Weird, like, like having different routines and... Yeah. Yeah. We're still, still adjusting, really. But lads that I work with have been proper, like, sound, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, couldn't have been more welcoming. And yeah. we've just got to the point, which is, I'm buzzing with it, we've started having crack. Yeah, So yeah. that Because yeah. it's, it were all a bit like, nice, nice to start with, and now we've started like firing some needle like, each other. first week, that's what you're saying. You said, I can't talk, I can't talk to them like I talk to you. I don't think <laughs> I can talk to anyone like I talk to you, because it's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? If we ever filmed me and him talking properly, you would just turn off straight away, because it's r- ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. I can't understand myself sometimes when no, I talk to you. No, no. That's no. not me. <laughs> the voice is talking but for example so I ordered a foam roller the other day and uh, one of them wrote uh, bigdildos.com on it and they were like your delivery is here so oh, that's, yeah. that were good probably St- I still want Stan- yeah, yeah that yeah, were yeah. run of the mill stuff but I appreciate yeah. stuff like that yeah. prefer stuff like that than, the, than if they were to leave it alone you know I just used to take it into office and Sarah would open it yeah and so, uh, these bands are these ones yeah have. this kind of an old perfume not for me <laughs> yeah. surely like yeah. that to my man so <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What's been your highlights since leaving Ickleton then? Have you had any personal highlights? Personal highlights since leaving? Yeah. Um, or have you just probably been pure like, grafting every day? Quite grafting really, but just by freedom of your own time. Mm. Oh, well, time jealous. Your own. When I first started at Kingswood, still having to work as many hours as I do in shop, it's not loads, it's less than Nicholton to be fair, but still like contract well. Not contractually applied. Yeah, you've got like a place of work. Yeah, yeah. So I've like, still got the steady income of working in a shop and stuff like that. Filthy this taste. So <laughs> 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 uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah, I still have to do so many hours and I was so like... Because between me and you, yeah, me and you, I felt quite sad when I first started working at Kingswood. For no reason other than it was just different to what I'd been doing before. Yeah. So from leaving school, right, I worked at Direct Golf. From our 14 till 17, I worked one day a week. So that were min. Mm-hmm. I'll ice earner in year 11. No, year 10. Oh, in your school. Because I were on 26 quid a, a week. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then 17 to f- four weeks ago, I'd only ever known Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. much as I thought I could cope with going somewhere else and just mm-hmm. like imparting myself on it. Struggle. The thing is, that you're like you are a member there. Part of furniture, really. Yeah, well, like, I felt like that anyway. So you were, how, when did you join? When you were like 13. 13. Yeah. yeah, so you've been there like 10 years or so. Yeah. You're a member, 
you know me mm-hmm. and then unfortunately unfortunately <laughs> you're packed in your job a guy I golf to work yeah in the shop on a weekend didn't you funny story right reason why I quit working at direct golf love working at direct golf right reason why I quit what can you remember this you have told me that uh, so I can't remember in, in my younger years, weren't quite up to date with the social media and how it could affect your work life. <laughs> so, tells my manager, who oh, nicest bloke I've ever, I've ever met, Min, I told him I couldn't make a shift because I was poorly. Wow, mate. We'll talk top 50 a different time. <laughs> uh, told my manager I couldn't make it because I was poorly. Weren't poorly, played at Rotherham in a Sheffield Union Junior event, did play right well, tweeted about after about it, about how crap I played. Yeah. So he rang me and we're like, what are you doing? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> oh. That's what I like, I don't like sometimes though, do you know, like, you, you're you obviously good at golf. Mm. You're working at direct golf in a shop. Yeah. Like, surely they'd expect, you only be working a day a week. I know. Like, I, I, know. Can't me- I, can't, up, I can't make it, I've got a golf comp on. Yeah. I am a golfer. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I got some talk. Totally working in golf, the golf mm-hmm. life becomes a bat burner, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I know. But me being quite a savvy young man, I thought, how stupid is that to do something like that? Yeah, you are a bit stupid. Sometimes, sometimes I do so, drop yeah. bollocks every now and then, don't I? Yeah. I haven't dropped that many at Kingswood, to be fair, which oh, is, yeah. I'm proper you surprised myself. Like, cagey. Yeah, cagey big time. Yeah. 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 Proper, yeah. mega alert. Yeah. Trying to get to know. I've been, I've been far nicer in this six weeks of working at Kingwood to people that I don't know that I ever be, have been before yeah. just because yeah. of not being used to it or whatever but I think that became a point as well didn't it oh like, yeah just same old same yeah. old I think I've been rude to people at Eccleton and just yeah. not being bothered yeah so that would just snap out of that rude, but you, we could kind of like not be rude we pushed the like, envelope a bit didn't we pushed it knowing you could get away yeah, because yeah. they're like they're just no way it yeah. like yeah. yeah. Well, that's one thing, and it means saying. I think saying, a lot of them, anyway. Do you know? Obviously, once it kind of mm. came out, they were like, "Well, I don't blame you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So then we're just like, mm. "Let's just rip anybody we can." Yeah. But within the f- the like humorous. Yeah, like, yeah. Humorous, yeah. We weren't being nasty. No, no. When I say I felt like I was being rude, I probably weren't a bit. But compared no. to how nice you potentially can be in that situation, yeah, yeah, you probably yeah. were. But you know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 I've not. I've not. What have you not missed? Um, saying old example. stuff every day. I mean, I, I still get that in yeah. where I work now, which yeah, you're gonna get that. I, yeah. I don't. I still look just golfness. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I am. I am. I've, I'm being more golfy. Golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know it's, it's such, such, sounds like such a contradiction when I say this, but it's like I had a guy come in the other week, and and he's like, he was just telling me how good he was. You know, for yeah, and it's just like my, my wedges are mint, mate. Yeah, and my mid irons are mint. Yeah, driving could, needs a bit of work. Putting, oh my god, I could have eighteen putts in a round. And I got you off. What do you play off there? Twenty four. Yeah. Like right. Yeah. Um, you having any lessons at the minute? He goes, no, I don't need any. <laughs> right. Okay. That's some people's like peak in it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. But it shouldn't be telling you that. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? It's like, it's very that's hard. what I used to do in my head. That, mm. that, what I used to do in my head. Yeah, I don't like that falseness when people can sit there and just like happily accept that as well. Because this is my demeanor. What, as, a, as like uh, you'll be on camera? Yeah, and yeah. people like they put that false light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so you'll be that guy, you'll tell me how good you are, and this is how I like <laughs> reacted. Uh, yeah, I'm mint, mate. I like I'm off 17, and I don't miss a putt within 10 foot. That's what you used to get. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's phone's ringing, mate. Sorry. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's not good, is it? No. So, yeah, still got that. But the teaching side of it has been mint. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. That. Doing like 10, 15 That's hours a week yeah. now, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I played today. Did you? Mm-hmm. Where at? Thornhurst. Right. On Instagram, really. Right. I, thought, I think I've seen it, but I just like... I Rifle through, yeah, Rifle quite funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people ask me some stupid questions while I'm playing as well, so... What, like... Uh, one of my mates birds asked me if I fancied a girl who we know do you know what I mean childish childish childish, childish. <laughs> things I have to put up with you know well, uh, yeah. well when you're a celebrity well it's what it is and it comes with territory you know yeah. what I mean <laughs> ah, what else yeah. what else are we going to talk about <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite unprepared well, do you know the like, last podcast we did that never got out yeah I listened to that right, All right. when we were running mm-hmm. And it was meant. Were it? It was meant. Can you remember what it was about? 
And he might have made a good job. We didn't really air it when we were both there. Oh, about leaving Ickleton? No, no, well before that. Before oh, right. we'd even like... Were it? Mm-hmm. Oh, God knows that. It was about like... Dress code. Dress code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that I think that had ruffled a few feathers. Mm, potentially, but I don't... Like, I got to a point with that where I'd... I've got an opinion of that I am not interested in a dress code. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what people wear. I just want people to be playing golf. Yeah. Irrespective of how much money they've got, what they look like, what they wear. I think that's a good thing where you are. Yeah, definitely. So that were one of the main selling points for uh, to yeah. them, for me, for me to want to go there. Yeah. Because we are relaxed it is now. Genuinely do not care about dress code. And you know, yeah, if yeah. people want to impart that opinion on me, like, oh yeah, but it's... You have to have yeah. dress code. You have to yeah, have these yeah, standards yeah, at golf clubs. Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm not bothered. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you you can think that I, I don't yeah, like dress codes. Yeah, yeah. No. For me, if if we get to a point where Roy McIlroy uh, Roy can wear jeans at Masters, then we'll win. Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas. And he won, and I was so glad that he, he won. did. Yeah. In his hoodie. Yeah. Did he wear it? No, he wore it. Oh. David. He wore it Saturday. I wish he would have wore it on Sunday and won. That's good. Who's his clothing? Mark Ralph Lauren. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's RLX, I think it might be Ralph Lauren Sport. If you want to sponsor this podcast, Ralph Lauren, please let us know. <laughs> I have some vintage Ralph Lauren. Yeah, yeah don't buy clothes anywhere apart from him. <laughs> link in the description below. I will put the link in the description below. Oh, yeah. Well. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'm flogging used clothes. Mm-hmm. Clothing, vintage clothing. Yeah. yeah. Clean used clothes, though. Yeah, clean yeah, them. Thank God for that. Steam around there, yeah. Yeah. And it's good stuff. It's not just like any old use. It is actually quite good stuff as well. Some of that, um, there were a Juventus jacket that you put on over a week oh, from like 2003, that, yeah. that one. Did you get like decent whack for yeah, that as well? Yeah. That were quality. Some Tommy Olfiger stuff yeah. recently has been mint. Yeah. So. Tommy Ralph. Yeah, that's that's good Some stuff. Nice isn't it? North Face stuff. Got any Burberry stuff? Or did you sell no, that? I think I've only got one Burberry like long sleeve t shirt. Right. Yeah. yeah. I really, no. It's hard to get older stuff like that. Is like it? Burberry and Stone Island and that. Mm. It's hard to get older. Mid market for a Stone Island. Stone Island. Piece. What? I don't know. Could be an hoodie, jumper, oh, jacket. No. Jackets are expensive though. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to do some lesson before I get a Stone Island jacket. Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. So apart from you, what, what do you want to talk about? Do you wanna talk oh, I got a club about golf really? No. We don't have to. <clears throat> no. It is a golf channel, it's good. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I've started to make videos that I like doing instead of videos that I feel that I have to put out. So mm-hmm. That might be breaking news, actually. I don't know if I've said that before. So, from now on, I will be making stuff that I want to do, as opposed to... Not just golf? It's my channel, isn't it? Well, you can do what you want, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so, what I mean, like, because it's all been golf, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like before I've had to make them types of videos, so... Yeah. But what we'll, are you thinking, we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a couple of like, you know, my silly golf videos that I want to do. They're good. So I'm going to keep doing them. I've got a couple of great See, ideas. See, I think that's I more do. up your, like, I know. that's more up your av- I know. avenue, if you know what I mean. I've been doing a couple of like club reviews and stuff recently and I find them boring. Yeah, and I don't yeah. like editing them. Yeah. Because I'm just watching them and I'm thinking. And there's like a million over there. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, not a million. Well, I'm still in the process of finding my niche, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, so. I said so, yeah. Yeah. My, my thought process behind this is I just want to keep doing different stuff until I find something that works. bangs yeah, yeah, and I get yeah, bare yeah. views on it. So yeah. I've had a very good idea. Um, I'm going to try and live like Tiger Woods for a day. So oh, you know yeah, his yeah, routine that he put that out. Before, yeah. So like yeah. he gets up half six, he goes running, yeah. low fat breakfast, and then I'm going to try and do all that a day. Yeah. I just need a day off. <laughs> that's that's finding hardest thing. Have you not been having many days off? No. Yeah. This is first full day off I've had since I started. Is it? Yeah. Right. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Because I've been like, well, I, from my standpoint, I felt the need to, if someone asked me for a lesson, me only working there four or five weeks, I can't say no. Mm. Even if it, it means me driving half an hour to perhaps lose money, yeah. if I gain a client from it, that's so when I say yeah. To like shuffle yeah. them about. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping now that Monday's going to be one day off a week. Yeah. Sundays I don't uh, work a lot. Um, I, I'll just do juniors and then maybe a couple of lessons either side, so that's all right. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that Monday to... Saturday, I'm working, mm-hmm. so it's all right though. It's good. Yeah, cool. I like it. And I, I've, got, I've got Thursdays off, for example. So I'll, I've all day Thursday off, and I'm going at five and teach till eight. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Or I could teach from <laughs> eight in the morning to eight at night if I wanted to. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not got not, not got, got the, not got the people. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Send me an email if I want a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty buzzing, like to be fair. Good. Glad to hear. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really had a day off. 
You are. But it's weird for me, like... Yeah, you could like, have every day off if you wanted, couldn't you? Yeah. You're not going to go. That's been hard, mm. which I don't think would be. Getting out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Same. I oh, mate, yeah. absolutely same. Can't yeah. get up, mate. Yeah, but I don't have to. Yeah, I know. I do, but I don't. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? I need to stop saying I, yeah, I, I know. I keep setting like, my alarm for like half six, seven. Mm-hmm. I, I, wake up, I wake up before that, but then you're just like, just laying there, mm-hmm. kind of up to get up. I'm still the same Watch habit. YouTube videos. That's all I do. That's all when I, I come do. to get my first house and a TV and that, I'm not going to buy a telly license because I just watch YouTube. Yeah, yes. That's yeah. it. Stretford Paddock is my favourite channel at the minute. What's that? Mine and I have a fan channel. Right. But who presents that? Like Stephen Howson like, runs it. Oh, does it? And he's... Oh, it's a new one. He's mini Uh Yeah, relatively new. They've got like 25k subs in about two months. So That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Proper good. What else do I like watching? I like Zach and Jay show. That oh, always yeah, my favourite. Yeah, yeah. They're been... What else? All I all I do now is just podcasts, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. YouTube podcasts and yeah, yeah, mm. all like that. Um, back into FIFA. Oh, you mentioned this to me over there on the phone. Sold my PS4 because I was getting addicted to FIFA, right? Have you got a new one? Bought an Xbox. Is there a new one out? No, FIFA coming out of it. Oh yes, FIFA twenty. Is it out? It's a big deal. Is it? Yeah, team sick already. Save that for a different video though. Might start streaming FIFA. Who oh, no. knows? <laughs> do what I want. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh. Get back up there. No, I've never been a gamer. No, I think it skipped your generation, didn't it? Not really. Didn't it? No. Like my mates what? Didn't skip your de- generation though, did it? No. There you go. I had like one year where I had a PS2. Right. And uh, you got three games that I got for Christmas. They were like, this is football. You ever played that? No. You could dive on that. I mean to die that yeah. Um, Ridge Racer 4, I think it was. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I can't remember. I got a bit addicted to Ridge Racer 4. This is football. Happens, like football it? games. Like, I played two or three games on boards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. For FIFA, there's a lot of stuff to work towards, isn't there? There's a lot of different games. I never, I never got game. into it, mm-hmm. like the gaming thing. Yeah. I think I completed a couple of games. Respect. But, yeah, used to like Blockbuster used to be open then. We had one in Amsworth, we used to good rent them. Oh, rent games, complete rent them games. and then take them back. Oh, yeah. that's alright, innit? Yeah. See, so, yeah, I missed all that, mate. That, yeah, you skipped that. I had a big period of just not playing any games, though. So, like, you know, when kids started doing it, I didn't. It was like, it got me about 18. Yeah. Which were weird, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I played it up to like now. Ain't that, yeah. that strange, that? Yeah. Because me from 12 to 18, I just played golf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. better though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, way better. When I went out today, I know I was doing a lot of messing about on my phone and stuff, but it's just good being out in it, being yeah. outdoors, hitting yeah. rattucks and <laughs> losing balls and that. I had a great laugh. You can, I can see how people get addicted to video games, though. Oh, yeah. I yeah. can remember like sitting there, and I'm probably only like 14, mm-hmm. and like, you'd be like, just eating crisps and drinking coke or something and that you think, and, like, I must have been like quite aware that I thought, this ain't that good, really. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But it was better than doing homework or whatever. Yeah. I, even at the stage that I am now, though, I like, I've got, I do a really bad thing where I've got something that I need to do. Mm. And I find everything else to do before I, I do that. that. It's just yeah. ultimate procrastinating, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it hard sometimes. Yeah. Like, you, your mind just drifts, doesn't it? Doesn't it? You think, it's like. It's so better if you just crack on. Isn't it? Yeah, a day like today though, I felt like I had to do stuff. And to be fair, the most um, important stuff I need to do, I've, I've done it. I've done half of it. But you do, I just just think of other stuff. Well, I might to do. plan like, and I did this for like first week or two, mm-hmm. sort of get up about seven, go running, mm-hmm. get back into running, do that first thing because you feel a minute after that. Yeah, you feel like you can crack on with stuff then because you've completed yeah, one task. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that rest of it flows. Possibly the most physically demanding task you could do. In yeah, you've well, got yeah. it out of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't. Like, I did it a few times for like a week or so. Mm-hmm. Then like I wouldn't do it. And then it's like come back in the day and like I think oh, I need to go and still. Mm. And you do it, but you, it just doesn't feel the same as when yeah. you do it first thing in the morning. I think it can make you anxious as well, can't it? Or when you yeah, when you're yeah. waiting to do something throughout the day, yeah. and you're like, oh, I still need to do it. Yeah, I still need to do that. And then, but yeah. like, if you set allocated time slots like I have today, so I set like two hours to do three tasks, and I missed the first two hours, I just did no. And then yeah. I think right, I've got to cram two things into four hours. Now. Have you ever tried doing that? Like. 
writing down like you did. I couldn't do it. I can't do it, mate. No. I can I can do like it. I can plan it out, but I can't execute it. Like write it down, then you're gonna do it. Yeah. Like you try it and you might do it for a few days mm. and think it's crap I'm gonna do it anyway. I can't time myself I like I can't yeah. do things in time. I get slots. a bit addicted to time sometimes, you know, Yeah. Like, I think oh I'll go running at seven. If I don't go running at seven I'll go in it like half seven. Right. Like not ten past seven. No, oh, yeah, you've got to round it up, haven't you? Round it up. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do Which that. It's a bit weird, really. Well, it's like we alarm clocks and stuff, though. I set about five in the morning. I am bad for not getting up, you know. Do you not hear it, though, first time? Yeah, and I just press no. And then it comes up five minutes snooze. later, and I just press no. Snooze is like nine minutes. Yeah, and I don't trust myself for nine minutes. Why is it nine minutes? I don't, that's what I don't get. It should be ten. You should be able to say it's an I think, anyway. Yeah, you should be able to. You probably can, but you don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, I have, like, five alarms or five minutes. And the, but at the last one, it's still 15 minutes before I need to get up, so I have 15 yeah. minutes after that. Yeah. Drives me man mental. <laughs> she goes, why do you set alarms at 7 when you're up at 8? So you can kind of sometimes like get up and go though, can't you? Oh yeah, once I'm up, Ooh, once I'm up, I'm up. No, but like you could get up like 15 minutes before setting up to work. Oh yeah. So other day, perfect example, on Sunday I started at shop at half 7, it takes me half an hour to get there. I walk up at 7.56. I was, I was 6.56 oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah So I was 6.56 I was up, showered, cleaned my teeth Dried my hair, clothed Out of door for 4 minutes past <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? In 8 minutes? In 8 minutes Really? So from getting in bed at 56 And I'm out of door at 04 <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> Shower on <laughs> What you said <laughs> Get out <laughs> Proper good Brush my teeth and that Finding it hard to brush my teeth at the minute because I got smacked in everywhere a golf club the other day. Oh, that was funny. It won. It hurt. <laughs> it proper hurt. I took it right well, though. Surprising. It didn't go down. No, natural reaction was to melt <laughs> and get one of them, you know what I mean? But I didn't. I didn't do that. So, surprised I didn't swear, actually. Did it, like, not your fuzzy? No. Didn't it? No. That's not too bad. Though. It did hurt. And I think yeah. I've got a lump on my head. Yeah. Still. Yeah, I have. Ah. So, get two or three weeks. If it still hurts, when I chew, I'm going to go to doctors, I think. Oh, hospital. Does it hurt when you chew, obviously? Yeah, that side. Does yeah. it? <laughs> Swelling's going down. Maybe. Down Might I crack my skull? Your face. Yeah. There were a corner of an eye night at the side of Ed, like. I know. Have you ever been at my golf club teaching? Um, yeah, I'm ankle. Ooh, worry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I said to my mate. a few deep breaths. Mm. Uh, well, I said to my mate, I said, don't swing when I'm on mat. The only rule that we have is don't swing when I'm on mat. Yeah. And I'm on mat and it's back and whacking it, Ed. Yeah. Stretching, Ed. Strep dead head. <laughs> oh no. Not that I lied to me, we can't it on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Just set the tone, yeah. Set the tone. Right, what else is there? Should, should, we, talk a, to talk should we talk a little bit about football? Football, yeah. Well, I was feel doing, I haven't been keeping up. Unbeaten in four. That's pretty good. Cowleys are doing it for us, mate. Coming good. Danny and Nicky Cowley, yeah, mm. will be finals. Yeah. I can see we're going to be that team. Stoke might do this a bit as well because they're picking up. But there's always a team that starts bad in that. Yeah. And then nearly makes playoffs. Right. You think you're that team. playoffs, but we might nearly make it. All did it last year. They were down there for ages. Then, like, finished about eighth or ninth. I think mine and your club are both going to finish mid table. Yeah. You're. Yeah. I won't be that arsed if we finish mid table, though. You, you're going to, yeah. You're going to have some seasons like that. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's like two. Yeah. While we just keep getting two or three players every transfer window. Yeah. Or happy it was all yesterday. Yeah. I well, mean, I won I mean, and I weren't because... because you had lasted so long. At what, what, about 85? 85. 85. Fifth, yeah. 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 Uh, during game... A bit of a poor goal and all, wasn't it? Like, just switched off. A yeah, bit, it was my man Young and... I think Rowe was Rowe probably at fault. Culprit, really, yeah. I thought it was Young, though, because he were in front of Young. Whereas he were coming in behind Rowe. Yeah. You're like a old man, really. Yeah, if you're in, you've got to be on your shoulder, aren't you? You didn't cover him, did it? No. But so, one of them. And it was Alana and all. It was his first goal in two years. <laughs> you see what that absolute German clown was saying after a game? It was that. Klopp, yeah. That cheerleader. Did you see him running at half time as well, by the way? No. Do you know, I I'm thought. Just jealous here. What? No, I thought Jose Mourinho were going to get banned for what Jurgen Klopp was saying after the game. Because, it, it, mate, he screams at fourth officials. Like, screams at them. And they just go, it's all right, Jurgen, we like you. You swear in press conferences, it's funny, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thought Mourinho were going to get banned for what he did yesterday. Mourinho... Yeah, but he's a proper manager. ...wanged a water bottle 
in took floor and got like a six game ban. No, it didn't. Went far off. <laughs> Bang, he was in trouble. What Ridiculous. Never got banned. There you go. <laughs> Hated Mourinho. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that jealous of Klopp. Why? Because he's a clown. It's not that. He is. What? What they ever won? What if he didn't manage? Liverpool. What if he went from Dortmund? Oh, he, went, he went on a bit of a break, weren't he? Yeah. Uh, like managing when he got yeah. the Liverpool job, but what if he got your job? Because at that time you could have. Mm. Who were you managing? Were Van Aal or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Well, you took him? No. Why? Purely because he's now associated with Liverpool. No, but he weren't then. Yeah, but it's irrelevant. What about Wagner? Do you know if the loss yesterday, Schalke? Right. If they'd have won, they'd be on top of the league. Really? Yeah. Sweet Jesus. That leaves mega tight though. Is it? Like Dortmund are towing. Are they? Are they? Yeah. Towing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The one other uh, other day, one nil, but they were, they were, they were playing. They were top of the league. I think it was. Leipzig. No. Um, I can't remember what. Bayern Munich. No, Bayern. Oh, are they? Oh, I don't know if they are now. Lewandowski keeps scoring, doesn't he? It's got like five every week. Yeah, but they've had some. That league's just mega, mm-hmm. mega weird. It's like championship or something. Strange, isn't it? Schalke could have gone top yesterday if they'd have won. Right. Uh, Tough enough. Did uh, Dortmund play? Because I watched the second bit of it. They're all on Dortmund. Mm. for one they'll win. This is what you do when I just watch German football. Watch all sorts <laughs> of that, yeah. It's good German football, though. I don't yeah. like it. It's better than some... Uh, like, I don't watch Spanish or all like that. No, all. Spanish is very slow. Italian's slow. Yeah. German's, like, decent to watch. Yeah. And it like because the league's tight, it's like competitive. Mm. I, I don't think the standard of the league is anywhere as near as good. No, it's England, like though. to me, it's like watching like uh, a very good championship game. Almost, yeah, yeah. 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 But like maybe low end prep. Mm-hmm. To be fair, low end prep, top top end championship. Yeah. I wonder how far above any other second tier European league the championship is. I bet it's just like levels above. Oh, the second tier. Yeah, I think the second tier is like yeah. France, Germany, Spain. Yeah. A championship's yeah. like I think oh, it's yeah. nearer Prem than it is. Yeah. Most other leagues. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good championship. I think that was a point I was trying to get across there. I didn't get that point. No, I didn't either. I don't really know what I was trying to say then. It is one good. Yeah, it, it, it's, so it's, it's quite close to, to Prem to be fair. I don't mean the quality though. I think, yeah, yeah. You were saying just like second leagues, no other mm. championships oh. far away. Yeah. Well, in France, that's a farmers league. What's the second <laughs> division like? <laughs> yeah. It's like French football's live on BT at like on Sundays at there's always like a decent match like on five o'clock something like that. No, there's like sometimes uh, like Schalke playing at five oh, right. yesterday on BT, but yeah. all German fixtures are Sundays, aren't they? No, Saturdays, Saturdays and Sundays. All oh, right, they're like half two on a Saturday, hmm. and then uh, Sundays are like half two and five or something like right. that. Right. Um, sometimes some weeks they do have them where they're all on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I'm gonna say? Oh yeah, there's like a French uh, league match normally on live, like eight o'clockish quarter to eight yeah. on a Sunday. And like it's alright when you're watching like decent teams. Yeah. You know what I mean? PSG, Lyon. Yeah, like Marseille, Monaco in there. Yeah, Monaco a bit dead though. Yeah, they're a bit dead. Really, yeah. just Fabregas playing for them, don't they? Their um, stadium's only like eight thousand. You know, Monaco. Yeah, watching one other week and uh, I think it, the Monaco. I can't remember. It might be Montpellier. But like there were nobody there. No. The stadiums look nice. Yeah. Don't yeah. Well, there will be Monaco. Just yeah. I don't know if it won Monaco though. I don't know. Oh right. Monaco, but yeah. did what either or whatever. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, German football is quite good. Are you going to Germany later on this year? No. No, you're not going now. Going to be a couple of weeks, yeah, but like just don't work out. Oh right. I'm trying to get tickets, hardest problem. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? So, because we're gonna go to Dusseldorf. And just find a match. We're gonna try and watch Schalke. Mm. It's just mad. It's just mad hard. And yeah. It's expensive to get tickets. I bet they're all sold out, aren't they? Wait, so just sell the out, ticket yeah. prices over there and yeah. yeah, popularity of it and all that. Yeah, you best probably go into like a like we did early on in here, like Hamburg that are in league below. Yeah, yeah. Or like St Pauli mm-hmm. or whatever. So because you're getting for like twenty quid. And who else are in league below? Oh. Uh, oh, so uh, Stuttgart. Stuttgart, yeah. Also went down last year they were decent because they're in the playoff do not they Verd Bremen gone down uh, uh, I don't think so oh, I don't know I can't think of because they have a playoff do not they like a relegation playoff a relegation playoff, playoff yeah it's a great idea and they were like yeah and Union Berlin they were like near top up they must have finished I think top two will go up they must have finished third mm-hmm. in um, 
Bundesliga 2 yeah. and they've played off against I can't remember who on that decent ish team and they beat them right. over, it's over two legs oh so it's a team that could come up against a team that's going to come down yeah, yeah. oh that's a very yeah, good yeah. idea that yeah. isn't it imagine, imagine grafting all season and losing a uh, game yeah I bet, it, I bet it's very rare that the relegated team actually wins though what do you, no, it's, it's quite rare that the team in Bundesliga gets beat by... Really? Two. Yeah, it is, yeah. It was only like fourth time that, what? It, that the team in Bundesliga 2... Mm. Beat, beat Bundesliga. Beat Bundesliga. See, I would have thought, two legs. because you think confidence and form and everything... Yeah, I know you think that, the that team, yeah. like Relegated team... Well, like, in the Championship, you've got to think that if a third-place team plays a third-bottom team in Premier League, that the Championship team's going to win, aren't they? You, you'd like... Because of that confidence and so, solidarity yeah. and stuff, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm sure it's like, yeah, it is off two legs, I'm sure. It's a bit mad, yeah. isn't it? Well, it just shows golf in class between two leagues, doesn't it? Yeah. I think they said that, like, it only, cause it, I thought, I thought same as yeah, you, yeah. like, it was a bit of a, like, fans on pitch and all sorts of kind mm. of thing, but what they really would do. I can't remember who got relegated now, a decentish yeah. team. Anyway. Yeah. Comment below, if you know, we got relegated. Yeah, I know a Union Berlin that went, went up. up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But in terms of others failed, I think we're going to be alright. Mm, I hope so. Yeah. It'd be a weird to see them in League One again, wouldn't it? Oh, that won't happen. But before, like, we, we spoke about this before, before you got promoted, you were like a 13th club in Championship, weren't you? Not even that, like 16th, yeah. 17th. Yeah. 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 Wasn't it weird, that? Yeah. And all of a sudden, that little German fellow with his Sven Joran Eriksson goggles <laughs> just got you up like, what? Oh, yeah. 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 And kept us up. I know. That was that the maddest thing, weren't it? Yeah. Hey, do you know what today? Do you know what anniversary it is? Oh, I know Guess this. this. Uh, Wagner been appointed? No, no. Um, you should know this. Because I get some red ribbon about it. Oh, beating us? Yeah. What it? Two years ago. The De Potra one? Mm-hmm. Well, we lost here the rest of the times. And Drew, like, back in the last Oh, season. yeah. Oh, God. I thought, I thought I felt a right weird tingling in the body <laughs> a couple of days ago. Yeah, 2 1. That one, Mingyu. That one, Mourinho, weren't it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ardine's had, for, for how long has had a season ticket? He had one season under Ferguson. And then since we've had Moyes, Van Gaal, Mourinho, Oli now. What's your Ardine reckon to it all? I think he's just I think same as me, he's got to stick with him. Yeah. Got to give him time to build his own team. Because at the minute that's not his team still. Yeah, he's mm. made three signings. Yeah. So I think we need five more at least. James is good, isn't it? James is good. Yeah. He's a lot better than I thought he'd be. Yeah. Yeah. Fits our style and everything. He was good as a Leeds player, wasn't it? Yeah. Which he had a Leeds shirt, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That was crazy. Swans were like, nah. Well, I don't know what went off there. Were it like their... Um, Swans were like pulled plug on it. Did they? Just last minute? I think so, yeah. He wouldn't have been as good for Leeds as what he has been for us. Do you know what I mean? Just because yeah, yeah. of our situation and their situation. And, yeah. But yeah, how crazy is that? Some, some player him, though. Yeah. Like his attitude is like second to none. Yeah. Who else did this? Oh, is that Maguire. And Wan Bissaka. Yeah, they're good signings, yeah. Proper good. Defensively, he's best right back in the league. Yeah, he's good, isn't yeah. Maguire's like, I've never seen a centre back as calm as mm. him. He's just, he, he's one of them. He's, he looks quite like slow in his touches. You yeah. know, just as he receives it and he gives it, but he's just proper on top of everything. Yeah. I think if he was to be hurried, he'd still just get it out of his feet quicker. And yeah. Just like that little demonstration that I did there, that was quite good, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was he, slow. He's so like composed though. He's in midfield shocking, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that yesterday. A lot of people have said like McTominay and Fred had a good game. I don't like McTominay. Mate. I like McTominay. I think if you stick two better around him, he'd be decent. Oh yeah. Like a Pogba and one better. more. Yeah, That's yeah. what we're missing. Yeah. But with with Pogba you need a runner. We need a runner. You need to get shot around. Right? Defensively, mate, he's like non existent. I've never been his biggest fan, but... Which is strange, because like, I remember like when the won World Cup, you were like, Min. Yeah, but why? Think about it. Let, yeah, let me run a... Through, yeah. And when he played for Juventus, why? Who did he have next to him? Oh, who did he have on it? Um, he had, well, he had Perlo on one side, pulling strings. Vidal, did he? And he had a, uh, Arturo Vidal. <laughs> just a bone record. Just with a can-do <laughs> wipe, just going, there you go, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Right underneath the crease of his arse. What else did he have? Perlo. Yeah. Yeah, for a bit, yeah. Yeah, so he'd like, mm. I think he'd give ball away like once in his career, something like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. And then went, oh, mate. But at France as well, he got Blaise Matuidi as well, who's he's like, good, a, yeah. a, he's like a B Tech Kante. Yeah. yeah, he is, yeah. So he got both of them. Yeah. 
Every time Pogba cocked up, Kante just like swoops in. He's like, I'll get it back for you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers and go well. I like Chelsea this year. Yeah. I do like them. Do you know why Chelsea's youngers appear, uh, youngsters appear to be better than our youngsters? Because they're older. Than your youngsters? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. yeah. So you look at like Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham had a season yeah, at Swansea. How old is he? Full city is 21, 22, I think. Yeah, it's older than that. Is he? No, yeah. but he's only 21, 22. Can't below. Yeah. Phone in. Full season <laughs> in champ in Premier League was Swansea, he scored five goals. Yeah, but then he ran along at Villa last year. Yeah, and did bits. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like Yeah, yeah, but Swansea well, Pab went down that year. Yeah, but yeah. he scored like five goals. Yeah, but is it is in a better team? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean, it's like yeah. when people talk about it, especially Greenwood, when they're yeah, comparing yeah, him with yeah. him, it's like he's a baby. Yeah. 17 I watched no, 18. Uh, the kick off mm. uh, <laughs> who came on for you in the end uh, Brandon Williams <laughs> yeah the one who was this child warming up yeah he's good him you know <laughs> is it he once in an under 21s game I think he was against City smacked someone head and got away with <laughs> he's proper good him we've got a few though that, they've got a few that just need a chance but the thing with Brandon Williams he's not like yeah, the most you've not got a team to give him a chance I don't think no we haven't kind of have but because it's like almost, I know. I think it's mass different for Chelsea actually, because mm. they are a bit older and they've got a bit more experience. Look like at the midfield and stuff like that. Whatever they've mistakes got, they've Mason, got like Kante and yeah, whatever like, mistakes Mason Mount makes, he's got yeah. Kante behind him. Yeah, yeah. I know the centre backs aren't like amazing, but they've got the I like that young lad who they've got who were on loan at Derby last season. He's proper. Oh, Mason Mount. No, the centre back. Oh, centre back. He's yeah. good. Yeah. Tamori. Tamori. Yeah. He's mega. Well, like, I thought when I watched Derby like yeah. else and that. He don't play that? like a youngster. I who's that? Mm. That because they're Keo and he's a donkey. Isn't he? Well, he's not. Well, he's a bit. Donkey, yeah, he's not very good at minute. Is it? No. no. He's a donkey with two legs. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he, uh, I thought, who's that? Yeah. Know, then I, then well I, impressed I with him. Why, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. See that goal this scored of a month. Mm. It was probably that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty yeah. yard past it. To yeah, like. screamer. <laughs> but yeah, they've got a, like a kind of a core, aren't they, to work yeah. with. Well, I suppose Mantle just, just better than, it, yeah. like I thought. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I suppose when like they got championship and that, and it's like, yeah, it was, it was good. Mm. But like, you think it's same with Abraham, really, to be fair. But I don't think it's that much of a step up anymore because you look like, how good Twan Zabe has been when he's come in. He's just cruised into. Yeah. He's going to take Lindelof's place in by the end of it, season. It is a step up, though. Yeah, but it's not as big as what people think. Could James? It depends on play. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Swansea doing half decent? He walks into my new team. We we should have yeah, bought no, him. They're like their one offs. It was four of them. For like one of you. Abraham, Twanzebe, yeah. Mount. They're, these are these aren't kids that are just like coming into average teams and doing okay. They're playing for like your top. Come on, get no, slaughtered. No, they are one offs because like you sign. Yeah, but a one off is a one. No. Yeah. I know what you mean by yeah, that. Yeah. They're, they're like there's such a small percentage of them. Mm. You think how many like just average? Oh no, good good championship players yeah. get signed for Prem. Mm-hmm. They've done play or like yeah to just bang average yeah, or not good enough. So. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got to think they're coming from like Chelsea Academy. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously Reece James, what did we just swanted through and through? Danny James, Academy, uh, yeah, Danny yeah, James, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, and he's like a standout, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's like Madison's done well. Yeah. And it, you know, Leicester. Yeah. He's a bit of a, a one off. But like we signed, like when we signed Pritchard from Norwich, mm-hmm. like Madison went Norwich at the same time. Yeah. And like Pritchard, decent, but he's like a top end championship player. Mm. And then like six months later that summer, uh, Madison got signed for Norwich. Les- uh, uh, from Norwich, Norwich to, to Leicester. Leicester yeah. yeah. Maybe for, what did he go for, like 20 mil or something? something like we that, paid yeah. like 11, 12 yeah. pitch out, I yeah. think. And like, the difference, like, mm. he's, he's an England player, isn't he? Yeah. Alison, do you know what I mean? That's yeah. like, again, a one off. Mm. But sometimes in championship, like, Reese James, obviously. Danny James. Danny James, yeah, Reese James. <laughs> there's like a, a Reese James at Chelsea, a young right yeah, back, who's yeah, 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 And well, there's well, a Reese James at Sam for Donny, who used to play for Manu, who used to play for Wigan. Danny James. Danny James. Yeah, Danny James. He like he's probably looked better for Man U than he did Swansea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what like it's because he's got better players around him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I think at Swansea, you know, we weren't like... Uh, no, we didn't pull any trees up. No. Well, I can remember when we signed him, they were like... I asked my mate and he says, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's, he's like a... Just un, unpolished, he's just very raw, he's very quick. Yeah. You know, his end product's not great. It's still not great for us, but he's yeah. like starting to produce. Yeah, you get a lot of them, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of goals he scored, it's like... Mm. And that ball that he whipped in for Ashford yesterday, were like... Yeah. And that's first cross he's completed all season. I think it's like, do you know what it is? It's a no to lose. Yeah, isn't it? You know, and he's a grafter him. Lose, yeah. He's an absolute grafter. Yeah. It happened on a mass small level with us now with Carlin Grant. Mm. Signed him for two million off Charlton. Yeah. And like when like you know obviously goes off on Twitter like yeah. Charlton fans or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, again same thing, very raw, like, do you know what I mean? Touches a bit so so mm. going to a striker that's like as good as Yeah, like yeah. And then he's like came in Prem and like bang four goals and it looked like a Premier League player. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's got some no to lose. I'm just trying to think of more of them one offs. Not many, is there? You got a few Arsenal lads, did they go out on loan? Like Reese Nelson went to Bundesliga and came back. So that's totally void of our argument. Yeah, but it's not like a... Does he start every week? He's, he's like mad in contention. Yeah. All them young lads like... Yeah, they're good Arsenal. Uh, Matty Willock. Yeah. He gets quite... Is it Matty Willock? I think Matty Willock's the manual brother out of them. Joe Willock, it might be the place for Arsenal. There's not many, though. No. Like, if you look at Grealish, mm-hmm. you know, like... You could stick him in the top six. Yeah. And it'd, be, it'd look better than he does now. I, I rate Grealish, It'd look better mate. than he does now, you know. Because mm. he's got better players around him. Yeah. But he's a one-off. But he's like Villa captain through and through, isn't it? Yeah. So rare modern day to get a player like him, isn't it? Yeah, he's on him. Still making 23. 23 or something like that. Yeah. I like Grealish, mate. I like how low down he has his socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and his teeny tiny shin pads. Yeah. There's not many. No. They are one-offs. Mm. Chelsea have got a few one offs. It's a bad expression. That, that's the thing. Yeah. Like you've got one. Danny James. Two. Twan Zabi. Twan Zabi, yeah, but he didn't start every week, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a good yeah, 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 I get that yeah, one. Yeah, we would have started the last three or four games though. Yeah. If we weren't injured yesterday, I think he'd have started the last four in a row. Instead of Lindelof. Uh, either uh, instead of or alongside. Because yeah. we were gonna play a back three yesterday. Right. We did but we ended up playing a back three with Rowe. Yeah. Who I love. You like him? Got a mad soft spot for him. And Eric Bay. What, as a player, just because of nutters, yeah. You can I was thinking, no, like, I think when he's not played, I think, why is he not playing? Mm. He's better than what's playing sometimes, yeah. But is he's left a, foot? yeah, he's a cannon, though. That's left his problem, foot. yeah. Why play left back? Because he, he, no, he can't, is it not a left back? <laughs> no, no, definitely a left back. No, but neither is Ashley up. Uh, I don't, yeah, yeah, but he's not like a footballer, though, is he? <laughs> <laughs> can't stand him. <laughs> that's. Oh, that's a totally different podcast of that but yeah yeah you, you see him having a go at players and you know like if he ever has a it's go it's happens at... though because the captains we have it yeah every cap like with Johnny Hogg and that it's like you're, you're like shut me captain do you know if yeah, like yeah. if someone gets away yeah Ashton will have a go at him for getting it away he gives away more than anyone else in the team yeah that's what Hogg does yeah like, yeah. but that's the problem with the team innit the team dynamic you can't yeah, have yeah. him telling you what to do if he's shit yeah yeah but they're like, they've got respect. Yeah, what for? I don't, do I don't know, know we actually young, to be fair. Well, one of, one of people's yeah. arguments with Ashley Young is that his experience, what does experience mean, Sam? If you're experienced, what should you be doing? That that does made in a little bit of the experience thing. Yeah. Because we had it a weekend. You should have good decision making. Yeah, yeah. Horrendous. He's yeah. like a fucking puppy that pisses his set. <laughs> You've been. <laughs> right? And what's the other thing? So it's good decision making and something else, I can't remember. But there's, yeah. there's two characteristics that fit into experience. being experienced, mm, yeah. I know, yeah. And he's got neither. Yeah. That frustrates me, that. It's horrible. Because we've got Tommy Elphick. He's had a couple of beauty games, yeah. right? 1 0 up, cruising. He's at the back with ball, nobody around him. Mm. Smashes it across straight to a backbone player. Three yeah. touches in back at net. Yeah, like, experience. We signed him because he's experienced. Mm-hmm. Get, uh, get Congolo back in. <sighs> is he what's crack with Congolo? Been injured. Oh, is he? Yeah. Still playing so though when he comes back. back. Hopefully now. Be sold though, won't he? If he has a good season, yeah, mm. we'll flog him. Yeah. Sign him with seven. That's crazy. That's, 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 that's a lot of dough. That. I've seen him over over a week. Uh, Did you? We're walking. They do like a fan zone. Do you know, like? When walk past driving range, mm-hmm. they do a, like a fan zone thing round back over. Right. But that is that must be in car park away mm-hmm. to the driving range. And then a big car walking down. Sound? Say oh. No, not really. Too far away. Just like you kind of the walk past and then you're like, oh, that one. Uh, one of them. Do you know, this is what, like, I mean, there's still like about your age, some of footballers. Mm-hmm. 
But like, well, of a week there are, you all know these names, so, um, God, I forget his name. Uh, why am I blanking on that? Anyway, there were three, you know, one of them were Herbert Bockhorn, who was like 24. Yeah. But there were, God, I'm forgetting his name. Reese Brown. Reese Brown. Yeah. It was like 23, I think. Mm-hmm. And there were, um, the one I was 20, 21. Lewis O'Brien. No, he's he's him. Yeah, I know he's, he's good, isn't he? He's starting every week, yeah. yeah. Uh, watch out for him, he'll be a Prem player. Right. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I was going to pick him up. Don't know, but he's a good player. Centre mid. Yeah. We could do it centre mid. <laughs> box to box. He's though. not better than Jimmy Garner, though, not having that. <laughs> oh, Dylan, Dylan Levitt's played for Wales before he's played for Manu. Really? What, what, what is that? What are we going to say anyway? Why well, have his name? Seen... Josh Caroma. Right. It was like 2021. Yeah. Like, do you know where, obviously, you know where we, we sit and that, they like walked up. And they were, I think they were like, they have some game things set up, you know, like where kids can play FIFA with or whatever. Yeah. And one of the things, obviously, they're not, they're not in team or whatever. And like, they walked past, and like, especially uh, Reese Brown, mm. it was like quite slight and, and skinny and mm. that. They look mega young. Yeah, yeah. You know, when they're on pitch, kids, you're thinking yeah. these are like yeah, that's a men. bloke. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. a bloke in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, for the kids. Yeah, it's like like Lewis O'Brien is honestly he's a footballer. He's got the brain and everything. And he's and a child. Touch. It's like twenty one. <laughs> he's just turned twenty one. Yeah, day. it's been in it. Do you know Bakuna's ripping it? Have you seen Bakuna? No, is he doing well? Three. He match- said he was gonna. Three matches. He's done start. Mm. Comes off the bench. One as game against Stoke. Right. Toes to turn into a Ray player and Aldea can't be. Is he? Ray player, mate. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Bakuna came on, won his game against Stoke, mm-hmm. smashed one in. Came on against Hull, smashed one in, and were parting all three goals. Came on other day, smashed the equaliser in. Sweet Jesus. All off bench. He's a good to... player, him, though. I think he's had yeah. some personal troubles. Right. Because he's got a young kid and they've gone See, back to Again, got you back never... only 22. You don't know what goes off with people, do you? He's got, he's got a young kid and. I think him and uh, kid and missus have gone back to Ireland. Right. So he's been like, yeah. Yeah, he's stuck on his own for a bit. Yeah. 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 Sure, fair. I believe managers have got a like, mm. yeah, The, the joint manager situation is weird, isn't it? Mm. Like Danny Cowley, like, heads it all. Right. But he just says. He's one a manager, one of their coach. They just, I don't know, because they all like, refer to them as Cowleys. Right. Cowley brothers. Right. But like Danny does all media and yeah. post match, and yeah. do you know what I mean? But it's just because he's older. But they split the purse. Do they? Mm. So even if like one like Nicky Cowley gets paid less, mm-hmm. they just split it. That's top that, isn't it? Yeah. I'd never do that. Did I tell you that about? Um, Far too selfish. England, wait. Um, did I tell you this? I don't know. Do you know um, England with all corners and that World Cup? Oh yeah, it was that one. Went to see him when they were at Lincoln. Yeah. And got ideas off that. Yeah. We we tried that love train thing. Yeah. In like third or fourth game of the season, it just yeah. didn't work. No. Did not work. So. Yeah. I think that's about it, maybe, isn't it? Yeah, quite happy with that. Yeah. First one back, and the last one for six months. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice to be back. <laughs> uh, Sheffield Arsenal's on now. Yeah. So. Go watch a bit. One up, Scott. Let's get to Boozer. Shall we? Just look what I'm getting or should we find out before? I'll find out before. I want to let you know. I yeah, can do. What do you reckon? One one. Oh, yeah. You're not far off. Two one Arsenal. No. You're close to it one one. No no. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. At least not missing out then. Nope. Right, thanks for tuning in. Um please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Plenty of exciting content coming soon. I know it's going to be exciting because I'm going to actually want to do it. It's a good thing. Looking forward to that. So, there's no else left to say really, is there? No, thanks for listening. Yeah. Or watching. If you have... If you've made it this far. If you've made it this far, I want you to leave a comment in the comments below saying... 1079 project because that's the half a can that I've been drinking as we've been uh, doing this. So, 1079 project. And if I see any of them in the comments, there might be a prize for you. You're an OG. Yeah, you are an OG. So, is that it? That's it. Yeah, buzzing. Till next time, thanks for watching. Cheers. See ya.